everybody. Welcome back to The Late Show. My first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning actor, director, and the executive producer of Madam Secretary here on CBS. Please welcome Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Thank you very much, nice Stephen Colbert. You're always a lovely guest to have. Thank you. I like Before we go any further, Morgan Freeman, can I ask what I am Orlando 2016 means? This has to do with the Invictus Games, the Wounded Warriors oh, yeah, uh, yeah, Olympic sure, sure. Games. Yeah. Started by um, Prince Harry and. No, he did it. It was him, but mm -hmm. I was in Orlando Are you for that. Are competing in the Games this year? Not this year, no. No, no. No. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Were you an athlete when you were younger? Did you, did you compete in athletics when you were younger? No. <laughs> All right, let's move on. But okay. you know what? Do you know what you are a champion at? No. The arts? Because you just received, and this is fantastic, this is a goal for any artist, you just received the highest award that the United States give to any artist. It's the National Medal of Arts that... There you go. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. That's that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. How did you find out you were getting it? I. Uh, Am I telling you right now? Are you finding out from me right <laughs> now? <laughs> no, somebody called me. I usually you. Was you his get name a call Barack? From... Like could be as. No, Bo didn't call. No, he didn't call. No, he, he, no. Well, but you you nor did you go to the ceremony. I understand. No. Well, he didn't call. You weren't able to make it to the ceremony, so there's no photo of you uh, at the ceremony. So we, we made one up for you. There you are. <laughs> there you go. Just so you have something. You have a memento. <laughs> have you gotten the medal? No, no. They, I, what? I, no. I, they, they'll probably send it to the house. Yeah. yeah? Yeah? Do you know what it looks like? Is it nice? Is no it... idea. No. <laughs> there's such a thing as being too casual about this, Morgan Freeman. I'm sorry. I, okay. I apologize. Don't apologize to me. Who? Apologize to the national art people. <laughs> who decides? Do you know who decides to give this to you? Is like, is it Congress? Who makes the decision? Well, the note said the president. Really? Yeah. He's just sitting in bed one night watching Shawshank, and he goes, "I'm gonna give that man a medal." <laughs> right? Could have. Yeah. I mean, you don't know. And you it just don't know. You just don't know. These powerful people, they just make up their mind and things happen. That's for sure. Now, uh, uh, when you're not doing your, uh, your fancy Hollywood stuff and executive producing uh, uh, the uh, Madam Great Secretary, shows. Uh, you're down in Mississippi. You've got a ranch down there, right? Sort of, yeah. What does horses that mean? Are sort of. You have horses, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I have a ranch. I always think all about cattle and stuff. Exactly, yeah. And I don't do any of that. I just have horses. I understand you also have bees. And I have bees. Mm -hmm. I have a bee ranch. Mm -hmm. How do the horses? Yeah. How do the horses feel about the bees? They're pretty. They're pretty. Uh, they got to get along quite well. And I'll tell you why. Why? Bees don't fool around with the horses. <laughs> they just don't. They don't fool around with Morgan bees Freeman over there. either. I understand. Horses are over, huh? They don't fool around with Morgan Freeman either. I understand. Not really. No. Is it true that you actually you actually didn't wear the apiary like that the beekeeper outfit when you would go when you set up? Your, if you're your going bees? to harvest, if you're going to be in there really fooling around with them a lot, then yes, you would wear all that paraphernalia. But if you're just going to be checking the the frame, checking the hives, opening them up, then they don't they won't bother you. Really? They won't bother anyone, or they won't bother Morgan Freeman <laughs> <laughs> because you just mellow them out. You get on their wavelength. Or well, something. that's all they need. They just need calmness. Really? Yeah. So if you're just calm, then yeah, they won't. They're not. I remember picking grapes once in 1962 in Napa Valley, and bees are all over you, and you're not getting stung or bothered by in any way. If you get sugar on you, then you get a bee on you. But it's don't not go to a beehive slathered in sugar. Is the lesson there? Well, you can I can I buy Morgan Freeman honey? Like, is that out there? Like, do you, do you sell this? Morgan Freeman, honey, and I don't just mean your your delicious voice. I mean, <laughs> can you buy? Do you sell I, I, it? Like, I is there a stand for Morgan Freeman? I haven't figured that out yet, Stephen. 
Just put Morgan Freeman on the label. I Everyone know, will buy but there, it. There was, there was, there was the FDA. There was uh, health department people you got to deal with, and I haven't figured out how to get past them. Just flash your little presidential medal and say, "Back off." <laughs> this is the National Medal of the Arts. You got nothing to worry about. You got to get out of free, get out of jail free medal there, my friend. I really think that would work. I really <laughs> I really do. If you do, I, really I think do. I would Why don't you ask my friend Barack about whether I need... Okay, I will. I'll get a chance to ask him. Um, uh, you know, you also... Uh, do you have any kind of relationship with Hillary Clinton, by the way? Yes, I do. You do? Okay. Yeah. Uh, because I understand that she was one of the inspirations from Madam Secretary. How did this, which you executive produce, how did... And you also play the Chief Justice, and you directed the, uh, uh, the premiere. The second and the third... Okay. Uh, Original, the per, you know, the first series and season show. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when's when's the season premiere this year? Uh, Sunday night. Nine Sunday o'clock. night. Okay, yeah. you directed that. Okay. Mm-hmm. What does uh? That is someone. Where'd you like it? Someone's already seen it. Someone's already seen it. Well, what was the inspiration? Like, what, what, what? what, what well, aha! We should make a movie you about know, this. You know, when woman. we saw Hillary going series. through that whole thing about Benghazi, and we're looking at and when she was in the hearings for eleven hours there. Yeah. And um, we've been talking to CBS about, so, well, come up with some idea that you'd want to hang with for a while, story you want to tell. And we thought, you know, we've had three female uh, secretaries of state, and they've all been pretty good at it. Well, you know, and so... There's an awful lot of material there mm-hmm. to feed from. Mm-hmm. So why don't we why don't we try that? And then somebody said, okay, that sounds good. What will we call it? Adam Secretary. And that's how you executive produce. And that's there it is. Produce. That's precisely it. Wow. And wow. my producing partner it really gets angry at me when I say that, yeah, you executive producer, it's a, it's a title. She said, no, you work, you do a lot of stuff. I go, oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Again, you got to flash the medal. Yeah. You got to flash the medal at that point. If she actually gets elected, is that going to change your TV show at all? Do you think that'll change the storyline at all? No, 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 because it's not based on her. I understand, but they were inspired by her. Do you really her. understand? I do. <laughs> I know it's not a biopic. I know it's not a biopic of Hillary Clinton. No, it isn't. No. It isn't. It, it, it's totally, totally different. So, no, if she gets to be president, we're not going to do that. You did narrate the little, uh, little uh, documentary introducing about her life at the Democratic National Convention. I've narrated a lot of stuff for her. I know you have. Yeah. I know you have. What is a uh, more challenging narration, narrating the life of Hillary Clinton or uh, the migration of penguins across Antarctica? <laughs> Either one of those, those similar, different? No, actually, like they, they're both. And it's, it's all in, in, in your belief system, as it were. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like the story of the penguins, and I like Hillary. Everybody so loves the story of the penguins. Any similarities between the two of those? None. None? No none. similarities none, at all? None, none, none. So this question is going nowhere. I should yeah. probably drop it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> all right. I like that about now, you. you. You're a big fan of Elon Musk. You, yeah. He's just announced you can go to Mars for $10 billion. Let's say you had 10 B with, a, you know, big B billions. Yeah. To spend, would you want to go live on Mars? Not because, yet. No, not yet. No. Why, why not yet? Well, when, when it's, would you it's want a little to? hard to know. It's not even like the western frontier where there was nothing there out there but grass and buffalo, and, but there was food. Right. There's nothing on Mars. There's not even water that you can be sure of. Well, one of the things that he, he's not a great salesman for it because he said it'll cost $10 million and pretty sure you're going to die. Before you get back here, for sure. Yeah, no, it's a one-way trip. It's a $10 million one-way trip, and you're yeah. probably going to die. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Well, that's, like you say, it's not much of a sales pitch. Yes. <laughs> um, well, um, the new season of Madam Secretary starts this Sunday. This you Sunday, directed it. I directed it. It's going to be on at 9 o'clock. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, we're going to have a whole ex- a very exciting season, actually, um, because I'm reading the scripts as they come in, and mm-hmm. they come and in. And at some point, she becomes elected president, and then... <laughs> Watch my lips, Stephen. <laughs> no. <laughs> the new season of Madam Secretary premieres Sunday at 9 on CBS. Morgan Freeman, everybody.
Mars Pioneer. We'll be right back with Judith Light.